Aaron, Kevin Cash and the Rays clearly upset at the end of that game. What was being said on the field as as things ended and things transpired? I, I think just some together? just some back and forth, um, you know, with obviously the ball coming close to Brasso there. Um, so, you know, they're un- upset with it. So, you know, I understand that can be, you know, <clears throat> scary when 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 you get it near near your guy. Did you feel like you were on the end of that a lot this season from the Rays pitching inside and pitching high and in? Um, I mean, I think it's happened a little bit back and forth in this and, um, you know, just, you know, just don't want to see anyone get hurt. What did you think of LeMahieu tonight setting the tone offensively? Yeah, it was great. I mean, you know, jumps on that change up, you know, went really blowing in tonight. So you had to, you had to step on it and a couple of, a couple of home runs that were really stepped on tonight, both sides. Um, yeah, I mean, DJ, what can you say? You know, he's, he's such a catalyst for us. Um, obviously, have had our struggles against against the Rays this year and just coming out and two homers to get us going in the first few innings there was huge. And then Masahiro Tanaka with a solid outing as well. What stood out to you about the way he was throwing? The ball? Yeah, I thought he had a really good slider tonight um, and, and used his slider effectively to lefties on both sides of the plate too, you know, to be able to tighten it up and, and get it in on the hitters, I thought was effective for him. He had good life on his fastball when he used it. Uh, I thought his split was good when when he needed it. He didn't use it as much. Um, you know, they had that fourth, fifth inning stretch where they hit some balls pretty hard off of him. Kiermaier hits the homer um, and then some, some hard outs. Um, but really, uh, I thought showed a lot in that sixth inning going against the middle of their order. Um, you know, kind of wanting to push his 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 pitch count a little bit, and uh, you know he felt sound, and uh, it was good to see him go out and really finish off an outing against against a tough part of the order. Third time through the order at that, what convinced you that he was good to go out in that sixth inning? Um, just just kind of talking to him and and feeling like you know I, I wanted him to kind of push through, you know, trying to get that pitch count up. I wasn't going to go much more than 85, 90 tonight with him, but he hasn't gotten to that threshold. And I thought it was important for him to push through and he wanted the ball. So I was going with him. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Brendan Cuddy, go ahead and unmute. Aaron, do you worry about retaliation tomorrow? They were pretty angry. No. And, uh, you know, uh, what did uh, the umpires say to you guys after the pitch? It looked like he may have issued a warning to both benches. Was that right? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brian Hope, go ahead. Hey, Aaron. Um, Cash is pretty hot right now. I'm reading some of the quotes he's saying. He's saying, poor judgment, poor coaching, poor teaching. And he says he has a whole damn stable of pitchers that throw 98 miles an hour. Just, you know, what do you, what do you make of that? What's your reaction? Well, that's, that's pretty scary comments. Um, yeah, I don't, uh, I mean, I don't think that's right at all, but I'm not going to get into it right now. Who else? Uh, Erico, go ahead. Hey, hey, Aaron, does Massa still need some pitch count? Like, is he like okay to be full starter moving forward? I, I mean, yeah, I mean, he's fairly built up. He's probably not, you know, and, and now I think getting to that mid upper 80s, whatever he got to tonight, I think is a big step towards getting him, you know, kind of towards that all the way built up to where, you know, he could get maybe to 100 pitches now. So I, I thought today was an important step in that regard. 